Burlington police say they found two men dead this morning from apparent drug overdoses. And officials warn this is all part of an alarming trend this year. WPTZ's Hannah McDonald joins us live with the story tonight. Hannah. George, around 9 o'clock this morning, police got a call that there were two unresponsive men at this house on Ward Street. Police are saying they're pretty sure it was an overdose. That would be the city's 31st and 32nd this year. Less than a week after finding out Burlington hasn't gone more than 25 days without an overdose in a year, first responders discovered two men dead after possibly overdosing on heroin. You know, this is an instance that despite the best efforts of the investigators in concert with the neighborhood, um, we were unable to stem the tide of opiates going into the house. Two brothers. Overdose. They both on. Neighbors in the Ward Street area of Burlington's Old North End were stunned to hear about the passing of Dennis and Sean Tebow. One said the pair was quiet but walked a lot together. We've had a neighborhood watch in the past. We've worked with the police. We've done things like that. And it's helped. The neighborhood has been very solid. And then you hear about something like this happening, and it, it, it's a surprise to me. I did not know that house was an issue. Police say that twice medics have visited the home in the past for overdoses. In December, someone at the home was arrested for selling heroin. As of mid June, 30 overdoses had been reported to the city's police department, only seven less than the entire 2014 tally. Officers say a contributing factor may be that they're discovering heroin laced with fentanyl now more than ever. Pharmacists at the UVM Medical Center say using drugs can be a gamble. If a patient reports, you know, regular use of heroin, and they didn't intend to overdose, um, and maybe they said, you know, I use what I normally use, but then, you know, this time an overdose happened, then you might suspect that there was something else in there that the, the patient didn't know about. Although police are not sure if fentanyl was involved in these two cases. The chief says they'll continue to spread their no tolerance message. We continue to believe that swift, harsh punishment for folks dealing any quantity of heroin is uh, is an important piece of the puzzle. Uh, but that set against uh, decreasing demand by uh, ensuring that we're delivering treatment on demand as quickly as possible is important. Just within the last two weeks, the hospital started giving out Narcan to emergency room patients who appear to want to quit using. Today, the mayor also released a statement saying we need to maintain a focus on opiate addiction. In Burlington tonight, Hannah McDonald, WPTZ News Channel 5.